And of course, as soon as I hit the record button to begin this podcast, Waddles is awake and he's got, he's got a bone to pick with somebody. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear him or not. But I'll apologize in advance. He's a rooster. There he was. Don't know if you heard him. I can't keep it. I I can't control the guy. I just can't. I've tried putting him on a leash, taking him to the grocery store. It ain't happening, man. Waddles is, and he's hard to keep up, you know. He can't keep up with me. He just walks too slow. Well, I am getting ready to go out there and start my workout. I haven't really worked out since this entire carnivore experience, and it's time. And (laughs) bottles. Yesterday, I put together my exercise bike. Found out just how out of shape I am. And that brings up uh, a subject putting that thing together so i get the box out under the carport where i want to put it together and i open the box i hit time lapse because i'm going to record it and i dig through the box and i dig and i dig and i find the you know the thing with the pictures that shows you how to put it together yeah that thing And I'm looking at this, and I'm like, man, this is going to suck. Because it's not very detailed. And the pictures are small. Okay, I look at pictures. And there's a fly. So I'm looking at these pictures, and I'm attempting to assemble this exercise bike. And, you know, it's, it's probably not real complicated. But. You know, any anything that you've never put put together before, you know, it takes a little thought. And right off the bat, I start cussing because I'm like, this, this, this doesn't work. There's no threads where these screws are supposed to go. What do I do now? So I come in here looking for replacement bolts with nuts. Because they didn't have threads where the threads were supposed to be. Well, a little later, I real I stopped the I stopped the recording because I look like a chicken with my head cut off. Uh, no offense, Waddles. Okay. And I go in first thing I do when I can't figure something out is I'll go to YouTube and I'll type in whatever it is. So I found this bike. And start watching a video. Products today do not really come with good sets of instructions. They come with apps and videos. Well, I didn't know, you know, that there was an installation video. They assume that all of us have this with us at all times. They assume that. And this is how we're supposed to do is what, and, and if there's one thing I cannot stand, it's watching videos on a phone. I, I can't stand, you know, I never have come on board with that. I can't sit here and watch somebody on YouTube on the phone. I got to have a TV or a computer monitor. So I watched the video in the house, very good video that they had on it. I memorized how the guy put it together and seen what I had done wrong. Uh, The instructions had a whole different order to things. And basically, I just, you know, before I watched the video, I started looking at the stuff and trying to figure it out and put it together on my own. And glad I watched the video because I skipped many steps that were important. And... (laughs) But that is, you know, that's just the way it's, it's like, yeah, it's the way of the world now. And we're not going to change that back to the old ways. They're not going to start printing out detailed instructions again, because we're old. They're not going to do that. 
you either have to come on board with the electronic age and embrace your cell phone, which I, I hate. And, and to make matters worse, this bike runs off of an app. Okay. It has programs and what you do. And I'm going out to finish the, uh, the last clip this morning in my workout and you'll see this video on my other channel. I don't know in the next day or two, whenever they approve it, uh, some products you got to get approved before the video, they got to okay it before you put it out. Yes. They want to make sure you're not going to complain. And I had complained in this video. I had to cut that out because it was my fault. I didn't watch the video on how to put it together. But not only did I have to do that, but when you get the, the bike operational, okay, there's a cable you plug into your phone and it mirrors cast to the screen. It has a video screen on it and it plays whatever program you pick. You can pick YouTube, watch you, you can, but it has its own program with exercise, uh, curriculum in that, that you can choose <laughs> first one i pick this girl pops up and i left it in the video and the first thing i notice is man i'm skinnier than she is they got a big old plump girl doing this she's gonna teach me how to lose weight i guess that's the diversity of today but i found out that yeah even though it has these they gave me a free year uh, subscription. I'm just going to put on YouTube videos while I'm exercising. It's a pretty cool bike. You guys need to check it out. Uh, I'll have that video finished today, but I tell you what, I rode it for about five, 10 minutes and about killed me. It's going to work out parts of my body that that treadmill couldn't do. And it's easier on your body, more easy, uh, on your legs and your knees than a treadmill so it's going to be handy and the nice thing is it has this video monitor on it that'll spin 360 so if i go to the weight machine i can spin that thing over while i'm working out on the weight machine and watch whatever continue watching whatever i'm watching and if i want to get on the treadmill i can swing it over to that direction no need to have a television in there because whatever i can find on my phone will cast onto that it is pretty cool but i have noticed over you know and i do i don't do a ton of product reviews i only get things that i can use that i want and but most of the thing you know and things i purchase off amazon a lot of them now don't really have a good instruction manual you you have to watch the app or you have you know the installation video uh, it can be frustrating, but that's the way it is. We're not going to change it ever. It's never going back to the old days. In a lot of ways, it's good, you know. <clears throat> Coffee got a little cold on me. I came in here this morning. I don't know what's different, but I did. I didn't like the lighting in yesterday's podcast, so I was... I have a ring light and I was tearing this place up looking for it. I mean, I could not find it anywhere. Well, it was sitting right over there on the workbench this whole time. I don't even know why I brought it in here. So I got all that hooked up. Hope, hopefully the lighting's different, a little better. I've got, I'm, I'm not going for super bright and I think it's about right. The problem is yesterday on this camera, the one I'm, this one right here, it was dark whenever I'd switch on. Now, if I switch to the other one, it's almost too bright. But that's about the way I wanted it. But switching on to this one, you can see it's a little dark on one side. It don't matter. You guys didn't complain. It's just me. I'm trying to make things a little better along the way. And I got a few comments on what i talked about yesterday about starting the a carnivore based channel and i mentioned that maybe i could take that channel that i 
I made for the dogs and turned that into it. And that didn't, you know, a few people said, no, nah, leave that alone and start a new one. So that's probably what I'm going to do because I got on there this morning and there's, there's not a lot of videos on there, but there's videos I don't want to lose and I want to keep on there and we can keep that channel. It ain't going to hurt nothing to start another one. Uh, I can just post links on both channels and make that amount of subscribers up in a few days. And the people that are interested in that, they can subscribe. And the ones that aren't, they don't have to. And it just makes it, makes it more simple. Uh, you know, if people are interested, it'll, it'll be popular. And if they're not, it won't be. So that's probably what I'm going to do. But I'm probably not going to do that until sometime in November. I got to I got to get through October. That's going to be a lot of videos in October to do for Dogtober. And then once we're through that, uh, I'll probably take a week off and then we'll start that up. I may go ahead and, and start the channel and get some content on there, but not release it yet. And when I have a link for that, I'll let you know. I'm not even 100% decided if that's what I want to do. But if it is, uh, we'll just start all over, all over fresh, do a new one. Because um, they kind of shadow ban my channels. That's what I'm thinking, man. I don't know. So it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to start a new channel. And uh, you, you just never know with YouTube. You just never, ever know. I think they they program this algorithm to their own political agenda. And I've discovered, uh, here's an instance. I posted a video last night, a short. Shorts are very good to do. Um, you get views, you get subscribers from shorts. But certain shorts that you post, I've watched the behavior. You as soon as you post it, you can go watch what's going on. How many people are seeing this? Well, I posted a, a video where there's two, two calves. Okay. When I worked at the ranch, we have calf season and I'm in the video and I'm telling them one day you guys are going to be hamburgers. You're going to be a steak on my plate. Guess what? They didn't put that out to hardly anybody at all and what they do the way they work shorts is you'll 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 upload it and according to what niche you're uploading in comedy how to animals animals seem to do pets and animals seem to do really well so i try to put things into that comedy does well and depending on what you're putting that in you know, they, they have test audience. They'll, they'll send it out to maybe a thousand people. And then you look and see what the reach is. Now the reach is how many percentage, what's the percentage of people that see that short that are swiping away. So if you get anything over 60, maybe 70, 80%, that short's generally going to do very well. And this one got 85, but then the short, they just didn't put it out they'll put it out to a test audience and then and it may go two or three days and then it shoots up they they found the algorithm has found who they're going to put this out to and they put it out and it does either does well mediocre or it just bombs and so far any kind of video like that or has anything to do with the carnivore lifestyle they do not like because they're vegan the Alpo Rhythm are vegan. They don't like this kind of content. And that's the same way Facebook is. Facebook is even 10 to I hate Facebook with a passion. And the only reason I still have an account on there is because on Facebook is pretty much everybody I've ever known in my life that gets on a computer. There's even people that weren't on there 10 years ago that I said, these people will never get on here and they're on there and friends and family 
and you know i've got thousands of pictures and videos on there and they know that you know they know they got you but i hate them because everything i post on there if i if i voice my opinion about something guess what i'm in facebook jail every single time yeah i'm an old hardened con from face facebook jail i've been in there I, I do some hard time in that jail. Guarantee you. You drink coffee. But again, it's run by younger people. It's run by people with opinions. People that uh, have agendas. And if you cross that line, guess what? They're, you, you know, you're out. They don't actually kick you out, you know. They don't want you kicked out. They, I, I've never heard of anybody getting totally blocked or banned from Facebook. They put you in jail. Then they let you out. And they know you're going to mess up. They're watching you even worse. And, but they never, I've never heard of anybody getting, and even if you do get kicked off, it's not hard to get back on. People do that. But I, I just generally now I get on there and post my videos that I post on YouTube. I put a link. Don't really say a whole lot or I might share something from five years ago that I posted on Facebook. Other than that, I don't waste waste a lot of my time on there. And that's what it is. And locally, there that's pretty much the only way we get news here locally. We don't really have. A newspaper they do but i don't buy it or read it and then even when you buy newspapers now there's nothing in them you can't believe anything in them but that's how you get the local gossip is facebook yeah, but other than that don't got a whole lot of use for it but you either have to adapt to things today or or you lose out man i, I mean that's just how it is and they know that. And it's no longer the older generations. I'm here. It's no longer the older generations world. That's gone. So you either have to come on board with what technology is today or, or you miss out. I mean, it's like if you were that old guy that only watches television and had the antenna on your house okay there were so many people when they switched to digital that your analog tv would no longer come in i remember because i was one of them i didn't have cable i had the antenna and they switched and guess what i ain't got none. and then i gotta go buy this new fa fangled antenna and none of them ever worked i could never get none of them to work when i first moved here I must have bought three of those different ranges. Oh, yes, this will pick up 200 miles. It'll pick up an antenna 200 miles. You got a nap and you got to go spin around in a circle and find which way to point it. And it still never worked at all. But that is one example of something that, okay, we're just going to change it. And if you don't like it, whatever. If you can't get the technology to use it, you're not going to have it. And that's how they work things. And I think I keep up on stuff pretty good. I've just never, I've never grabbed on to the cell phone thing. Okay. I don't, I'm not the guy that has it in my hand all the time. Half the time, I don't know where it is. Or if I go in a store, I never carry it with me. It's usually in my truck. And then I get home and maybe it could be a whole day before I realize it's in my truck. Uh, been known for that. Uh, but now when you log into your bank or you log in like to the VA website, they will send you, you log in, then they have to send you a pin on your phone. So you pretty much have to have it. And then they send you the pin, you put the pin in. Logging in the stuff today is, I hate it. <laughs> I mean, you have to do so many things just to log into something. I mean, it's for security reasons, yes, but, man, 
it, in the old days, it was nice. You just put in your password, your username, bam, you were there. No problem. Now you got, got to sign in. Okay. Then they got to send you the, the pin. You type in the six digit number and, and then you got to scan your tattoo. What's next? The butt print, a heat signature from your butt cheek. It's coming, man. It's coming. So get your butt scanners now. I'm warning you. One more thing before I close. This really irked me. And I, and we know it's going on. We do know this is going on. But I had no clue like this. Uh, there is a channel I watch called Nick Johnson. That's just the name of his channel, Nick Johnson. He goes around the country. It's a very good channel. Uh, and he just shows you towns and, and kind of like uh, Peter Santanello, if you've ever watched him, he kind of reports on what's going on. He went to Hawaii, goes to the homeless areas. But he went to Springfield, Ohio in his last video because of, you know, the Haitians. There's like twenty to 30,000 Haitians that just bombarded this small, and, I, and I've been to Springfield. I know how small it is. It's nothing grand, but, you know, it was just a blue-collar working-class town, and now all these Haitians come in. I've lived around Haitians, okay? They come from an entirely different culture. If you've ever been to South Florida, you've been around them. Uh I took a job as a supervisor for a printing plant in Boca Raton. They had Haitians, Jamaicans, and uh, I believe they were, were, they were real Guatemalans working all in the mail room. And in the men's restroom, the first day I walk in, there is nasty used toilet paper all over the floor, just covered. And I, I inquired about that, and the manager of the company says, well, that's their culture in their country. They don't flush. I'm like, well, in this country, they're going to flush, or they're going to go out and back into the jungle because it ain't happening. And they had to clean that up, but it was disgusting. But it's a different culture that they're brought up in. That's not what angers me. What angers me as there was a lady, he was interviewing people in the town. There was a lady that said they will come into the grocery store. The government gives them EBT cards. Okay. With $30,000 loaded onto them, 30 grand, half of which is cash. She's telling that the lady buys the groceries or whatever. They buy the groceries. They have $13,000 balance just for food. And then another 13 to 15 cash. Every one of them. They're driving around in brand new Lexus. And they can't drive. They're giving them driver's licenses. They cannot drive. You guys have to watch this video because it, it was very, very eye-opening. And you got to know this is going around on everywhere in a lot of small towns, not just with Haitians, but you, you can't realize how many different countries are coming here. They're flying into Mexico or wherever, and then they're just walking across the border. And they are giving them debit cards. They are, and, and people in this town can't even find a place to live. They are be, they're being put out on the street because the people that own these properties would rather rent to them because they'll live 15, 20 in a house and pay high dollar rent. And so, and these companies are paying them half of what they pay regular people, Americans. So they're getting the slave labor, cheap labor. And, and this has been going on in this country for years with these companies like Tyson Hormel, all these big meat packing plants. Uh, this has been going on for years because apparently nobody else wants to do that work. They'll do it for half the price. But anyway, check out his video, Nick, N-I-C-K Johnson. 
uh, very good channel. And uh, he doesn't beat around the bush with stuff. So check it out. That really pissed me off. You know, and that here this month, okay, we may not, veterans may not get a check because the Congress and that have not approved the money to put it out. You know, the spent, the, the money needed to continue VA compensation isn't there. Well, look, they just pledged another $1.5 billion for Ukraine. We got these migrants coming in with $30,000 debit EBT cards. But the veterans, they may not get a check at the beginning of the month. <laughs> yeah. So just make sure you go out and vote right. Vote right this in a few weeks. Ah. Uh, Thanks for watching. Happy trails.